We need to talk about some exciting news if you are interested in house hacking. And we will talk a lot about Friday's jobs number because it is going to be important for our economy, for rates, for the Fed. So let's get into it. But first, I wanna make a special offer to you. Folks, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I think Bill Allen from Flip Hacking is on my personal Mount Rushmore of investors. He's been on the channel half a dozen, a dozen times. Well, I will be speaking at Flip Hacking Live next week in San Diego. So if you happen to be going there, let me know uh, as I will be speaking there and would love to see you. But I was working with Mr. Bill Allen about a, an offer for the one rental at a time community, just like last year. And what we've come up with is something that I consider pretty special. Uh, if you would like to attend Flip Hacking Live virtually, it is a three day event, again, which I will be speaking at, and Bruce Norris. Folks, if you don't know who Bruce, Bruce Norris is, uh, you're really missing out. Bruce Norris is the individual I credit with in my first book, One Rental at a Time, with saving my butt. He's the one that told me that houses were unaffordable and we started a very quick 1031 exchanges. Bruce Norris has some thoughts on the current housing market and I would be going to this event um, regardless. So what did Bill Allen and I work out for you? For $97, you will get access to the virtual three-day session because I know traveling to San Diego and all of that is pretty expensive. So for 97 bucks, you will get access to all three days virtually. Uh, you will see the presentation from Bruce Norris. You will see the presentation uh, from Bill Allen. You will also have the pleasure of seeing my presentation. You will also get a bunch of bonus material and all of that, but for 97 bucks, I have paid more than that to see Bruce Norris speak. So I have a special link for you. He created it, you know, it's, it's a Zuber link, so I will put it in the show notes in a minute. Uh, but, but I want to let you know that that is out there. And uh, if you're in San Diego and you're going to the event, let me know. I will be happy to see you there. So uh, again, Flip Hacking Live, Bruce Allen, myself, uh, Bill Allen, or Bruce Norris, sorry, Bruce Norris, Bill Allen, myself, and many, many other speakers. So on for that. Jay Parsons. Jay Parsons uh, on Twitter. He is somebody I'm trying to get on the channel. He has a lot of great information. Uh, he just posted a couple of details about apartment rents and folks they're falling this is exactly what we have been talking about for six to nine months rents in apartments are going to fall multi-family is going to fall single family homes are going to prove frustratingly stable to all of the um, doomers and crash bros but apartment rents are falling according to jay parson apartment rents are up 0.1 percent year on year this is why owner's equivalent rent and shelter rent in CPI will be rolling over for the foreseeable future. But if you break it down as Jay has, again, go follow Jay Parsons, uh, Boise down 6.2%, Austin, Texas down 5.6%, Phoenix down 4.5%, and Las Vegas down 3.8%. Folks, these are down before the wave of new supply. Most of these markets, and now I don't know Boise, but I know Austin, Vegas, and Phoenix have a lot of supply coming. So if they're already seeing these rent decreases in apartments, it's a fair assumption as more supply comes, it won't get better from here. So very interesting. Uh, second, I got a text from a follower. I'll just use his first name, Ryan. Ryan, thanks for the text, I appreciate it, man. But he was, he was um, speaking with another creator and came up with this saying that I think, it really hits home with me and hopefully it hits home with you, and that is, how much is fear costing you? How much is fear costing you? I think that is such an interesting question because when you think about fear, it could cause you not to do things, it could cause you to stop doing the work, it could cause you, to not make those disrespectful offers. Fear can stop us from doing lots of things. And when you step back and really try to figure out what I'm trying to do here at One Rental at a Time, is I'm trying to give you a playbook 
to defeat fear. It's never easy. It's never easy. But if you do the work, you get a buy box, you get a daily discipline, you look at it 20 minutes a day, you will get better. This Sunday from 8 to 10 a.m., we will be once again meeting with our boot camp students. We are going to spend a couple of hours looking at their spreadsheets, their tracking, their buy box to see what's going on. So, I don't know. I just thought that question from Ryan was very thought provoking. What does fear cost you? On top of that, I want to call out a video yesterday with Millennial Mike. Millennial Mike was gracious enough to fill in for a guest who canceled last minute. And we talked about his upbringing. He was very vulnerable. He talked about the special fire, fuel, that growing up poor has given him, that he still calls on to this day. I would ask you to do me a favor, search that video out. I think the title is very simple. He hates being poor, something like that. You can find it in his playlist, Millennial Mike. It is a, um, it is a wonderful video to really hear him talk about um, what fuels him. And again, you got to remember, he earned SWAT officer, um, I guess, duties or approvals or whatever it is. And um, at 28, that's not done very often. So again, uh, shout out to him. How about Fannie Mae? Folks, a lot of you who have followed this channel are interested or actually already executing house hacking. You have heard Anna Kelly say house hacking a fourplex was her best financial move ever. You have heard the lumberjack talk about, I forget, seven, eight different moves between units with his wife. You have heard Dion, you have heard Millennium Mike, and many, many others talk about the importance of house hacking as a start. Here's the deal. House hacking triplexes, duplexes, and quads were tough because you needed something between 15 and 25% down. You could house hack a house with three and a half or 5% down, but in order to house hack a triplex or a quad, I'm sorry, a duplex, triplex, or quad, you needed a lot more down payment. Well, guess what? Matt the Mortgage Guy was gracious enough to give us a preview of something that is dropping from Fannie Mae in six weeks. There's a video coming out on this channel at 9 a.m. where Matt the Mortgage Guy drops the awesome news. You can now house hack a fourplex, a triplex, or a duplex conventional with 5% down, 5%. You no longer have to save 25% to house hack a fourplex. Again, I will say it one more time. In six weeks, and again, the video comes out with all the details at 9 a.m., you will uh, see that you can house hack a fourplex with 5% down. Don't let money be the issue, right? 25% down on a fourplex is a lot. That changes in six weeks. Now, of course, always do the math. Make sure the numbers are great. A lower down payment does not make a deal great. In fact, I would argue a lower down payment makes it risky. But let's not forget, there are places where you can still house hack a fourplex. You can find value add. You can do lots and lots and lots of things. So again, understand what's going on. Dividend Dave, thanks for the uh, super chat. House hacking a duplex changed your life. House hacking is the one thing, if I had to go back and start my journey, I wish I did. I, I, I can't be any clearer than that. It is, it is that powerful, if you understand. So again, Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae is coming out saying, I want to empower house hacking. It, that's no other way you can think about it. They have taken triplex and fourplexes down from 25% down to five. They've taken duplexes down from 15% to five. You have to look at this as house hacking is a good thing. Uh, Friday's jobs report. Let's talk about it. Let's re let's, th it's happening tomorrow, right? Less than 24 hours. Here's the setup. Expectations are 170,000. Expectations for the unemployment rate are going to tick down from 3.8 to 3.7. <sighs> We're going to have to take a deep breath. If, these, if the numbers come in hot, and what is hot? Let's say 185,000 and above, and let's say unemployment falls to 3.6. Okay, this is, this is the hot. 
that will not be good for rates. Rates will likely spike in an aggressive manner. If they come in as expected, let's call it 165 to 175, something like that, probably a nothing burger. My feeling, and I think I shared with you on Monday, I think it's going to come in around 155. And this, I called that before the ADP miss, right? ADP was a huge miss yesterday. So I think it's going to come in at 155 or lower. And I think the unemployment rate will stick at 3.8%. If, that's a huge if, obviously, if I am right, I think that will be further validation that the job market, the last domino for the economy is starting to weaken. It's not collapsing, it's not a crash, but it is weakening. And that's what you and I want. You and I want a slightly weakening job market so the Fed stays on the sidelines and we still have a good job market. That would be the soft landing that so many speak of. Anything below 155, that could be a problem, right? We come in at 132 or 117, This, it's, that could be a problem. So again, uh, other folks, just like with ADP report, some of you might be wondering about how the strikes might be impacting the number. At least for the UAW strike, the UAW strike started on September 15th. Uh, which is a couple of days after the um, the data collection, was, which was on September 12th. So you may see a very slight impact of the UAW strikes, but that, that will show up next month. The UAW strikes will undoubtedly show up in the next month's reading. The Kaiser strike obviously just started, will not be in the data. Uh, the strike from the Writers Guild, I think it was, that is already in the data. So we won't see a lot of meaningful strike data distorting the numbers. So again, uh, and then the last thing, something we get every Thursday, weekly jobless claims, still staying below 220, actually came in at 207. The estimate was for 210. So again, the job market is doing pretty well. So folks, uh, I hope you have an amazing day. I will post that amazing offer that Bill Allen gave me, gave me to give you uh, here momentarily. It will be in the show notes and I likely will make it a pinned comment. Again, go check it out. Go check out all the free goodies. You're gonna get a lot of free goodies. To me, it's not about the free goodies. It's about hearing Bruce Norris, Bill Allen, and hopefully myself speak, uh, not to mention all the other folks. So again, I will, uh, I'll put that link there below. Look for the video at nine o'clock from uh, Matt, the mortgage guy. It's a quick three or four minutes about what Fannie Mae is doing. Check out the video yesterday from Millennial Mike where he got a little vulnerable with us. And again, I think the title is Hates Being Poor, something like that. Take care, everyone. Got some family duties I got to go to, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.